Manholes play a critical role in any sewer system and their design varies based on their depth as well as function. Welcome to Civil Engineering Fanatics and the video where we'll be discussing the various types of manholes, the underground inspection chambers that allow access to sewer system and other underground utilities. If you haven't already, we also have a previous video on manholes that you can check out. You can find the link to it in the description below or in the top link. Whatever be the classification of manholes, each type is chosen based on the function it needs to serve and the size of the sewer or the drainage water line. Manholes, as in, can be made from different materials including precast concrete, fiberglass and plastic. Let's start with the basic three types of manholes, normal, shallow, and deep. This classification are based on the depth of manholes selected for the particular application. Normal manholes are generally 1.5 meters in depth and can take a square or rectangular dimension. They are equipped with heavy manhole covers to bear the anticipated traffic load. Shallow manholes, on the other hand, have depths of less than 1 meter around 0.7 to 0.9 meters. They are constructed where the traffic loads are less, usually at the start of the branch sewer. As such, they are provided with a light manhole curve. Finally, we have deep manholes, who have a depth greater than 1.5 meters and do not have a uniform cross-section throughout. They usually have a smaller upper portion and steps are provided for descending into the manhole. Deep manholes are equipped with heavy covers to support heavy traffic loads. Now let's talk about different types of manholes based on the function. Junction manholes are constructed at the intersection of two large sewers or at the curved portion of the sewer where the curved portion is situated within the manhole. At the junction, it is recommended to have the soffit of the smaller sewer not be lower than the larger sewer. The smaller sewer can be made steeper from the previous manhole to avoid the difference of invert at the point of junction. Number two is drop manholes. These are used to connect two sewer lines located at different locations or elevations or drops, leading safely to the main manhole chamber or outlet. Side entry manholes are constructed when direct vertical access to the sewer is not possible due to the obstructions such as other sewer, gas, water, etc. lines. An access shaft is constructed in a position that is near and convenient and off the line of the sewer direction, which is then connected to the manhole by means of a lateral passage. Scarper or the service type manhole is the fourth main classification of manhole, which are mainly mandatory for all sewers with a diameter greater than 4.5 meters. They are provided at an interval of 110 meters to 120 meters so that they have a clear opening that allows the lowering of the buckets for inspection of long manhole lines. Finally, we have flushing manholes. Flushing manholes are located at the head of a sewer to flush out the deposits and the sewer using water. Flushing is carried out using water from the overhead water tank through pipes and flushing hydrants, fire hydrants, tangers, and hoses. They are mainly provided at the head of the sewers. And that's about the different classification of manholes in the field. Thank you for tuning in and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.